Hi there everybody and welcome and welcome to uh, basic build part 5. Now part 5 is a little bit of a bonus one. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about the actual barn doors, the hinges, the bolts, handles. So what I thought I'd do, I would build a set of doors from start to finish for you and run through what I'm actually using for the, to make the hinges up and the handles. Uh, bits and pieces like that so that's what I'm going to do so I'm now going to get on and we'll get set up and we'll just run through all the basics first things first we'll take a look at materials that we're going to be using now this is all stock size so you can quite easily and freely get this from any modeling shop or offline we start this piece of timber we're going to be using for uh, the posts either side of the door now this is 4.7 by 3.3. .3. I will put all the sizes up on the screen as I go. Uh, the second piece is going to be for the framing up of the back of the door. And uh, this is just the joist size. So it's 4.2 by, no, sorry, it's a 4.8 by 1.7 thick. And the last piece is these are going to be the actual planks to go on the door to make the door up itself. Now these are uh, 4.2 by 0 0.9. Uh, you can buy this in a sheet and cut it into strips if you wish, but they do do it that size as stock. The, the choice is up to you how you actually buy it. Now we've had a quick look at the materials and now we're going to shift on and we're going to make a template uh, to actually make the door. Now, making a small template for your doors, you're going to find it will be a lot easier for assembling. Well, I do personally, so that's what I'll show you. I've got my roofing tee, and all we're going to do is just draw a nice square line. That's it. That's our basis for our doors. I've moved that out of the way. Now, you measure the opening up of your doors. I know what the, the measurement is. It's 102 millimetres. So we go off on a hundred and two millimeters, and we just put a line. My big hands, probably my big hands are in the way. So it's hundred and two, and then we put a center line in, which uh, is going to be fifty one, I do believe. So we put a center line mark in very very simple like so now that's given us our two doors now using the piece of timber that we're actually going to be using for the posts simply just put them on the sides because this is just a template it's not a technical drawing uh, so we'll put our two posts in either side like so all this is just for a guide uh, so that's the two posts and the center bit is our two doors simple as that now we measure up I know the height of the door is uh, 55 so we measure up 55 like so Very easy, very straightforward. And that is it. That is our little template. And we have the two doors with the two posts. And this, you'll find, will be very, very useful uh, for building. And all I'm going to do now is get my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut it to, well, some reasonable size. And I've been rather wasteful there with the A4 sheet. But there again it is recycled paper so so we get rid of them and now we'll move on and I'll show you what we do with the template now I have here uh, a block of foam uh, you can use polystyrene you can use anything you want as long as it is flat that's the important thing it's got to be flat now we take our little template and we place it on top of the foam and with a piece of 
cling film, recover the whole thing. Simple as that. I should just do this off camera. Put a bit more room. As easy as that. So we have the template under the cling film on top of the block of foam. Now, if you get yourself a ruler or some type of straight edge and place along the bottom line. Now, this is just to help you as you go along, uh, just to keep everything square. A little bit of masking tape will hold it all in place. You don't need to put nails or screws or anything like that in it. Check that's in line. Yep. Now, we're all set up now to start building our door. Now, I shall put that to one, well, I'll put that to one side and uh, I shall be back with you in a second. First things first, we need to cut the planks for our actual doors. Now, we measured at 55 mil, so you're gonna have to cut them all at 55 mil. Now, I've already got my little jig that I made up a long time ago uh, to cut my doors, and this is 55 mil. So we simply, if you've got one of the jigs, if not, you can easily make one up. It's nothing too complicated, just two pieces of styrene glued together at the right angle, so you can actually cut to length. So it's just, we'll cut all the planks, and all I do is, as I'm going along, as I'm cutting them, I just lay them across. So when I get to the other side, I know I've got enough and I don't have to cut no more. So I'm gonna get on, get all my planks cut, and then I should be back with you shortly. Now, I've cut all the planks, which we'll remove out of the way, just for a few seconds. And this is where the template, the cling film, uh, the ruler, all comes and explains itself. Now, we're gonna assemble the door, well, doors, should I say, on, on the little jig. So, uh, kick off with what we need is I have some PVA mixed with some black paint just to give a nice dark color because we all know PVA on bolts wood when you come to paint it, especially if you're using a wash, it leaves big white marks. And also we need some uh, dressmaker's pins. To start with, if we use the line that we actually drew for the posts and put two pins in, like so. And then we just start assembling our door. Now we just push the first plank in, and I'm not gonna run through all of them, but I shall show you one of them. Simply glue along the edge of the plank with your PVA and the black paint in, and then we just start assembling the doors like so. And now you can understand the reason for the ruler, that's to keep the bottom straight. And the foam is strictly so as we go along, we can get some pins, push in top and bottom, and clamp everything together and hold everything together. So I'm going to continue on to the center, and then I should come back to it. I've got all my planks glued to the center. Now, if you notice that when I reached the center, uh, it wasn't quite a full plank, it's half a plank. So it's very easily just cut one down and fit it in. Now you've done that one, leave that one to dry, then you will start on the other side, exactly the same. Putting two pins in and running through to the center and doing exactly the same. So you've got actually two doors. I'm only gonna make one door because I'm just demonstrating how I assemble it. So I'm gonna leave that to dry and then I'll be back with you shortly. Now, these are all dried now. You may have noticed as well, I've done the other side as well. I thought it'd be rather rude not to do it. So I, I've uh, carried on and did it. Now, we turn our attention now to actually framing this up at the back and we're gonna be using uh, the, I can't remember the side, it's 4.8 by 1.7. And we're simply gonna be cutting one piece for this end at 55 mil, once I get it in place. Another piece 
this end at 55 mil, the height of your actual door. Then it's very simple just to get a piece, mark up into the center, and then you need to cut three bits for either side. Now there's my first bit. Second. And my third bit. And we do it in a E fashion. Like so. And I have the bits cut for the other side as well. Like so. Like so. Like so. And these now are just simply glued down. I normally either the cent the centre one up, you can measure up and draw a line across, whichever you feel comfortable with. So I'm going to get on now. I'm going to get them glued down, and I shall be back with you shortly. Now uh, all the bits have been glued in, and they've been sat for a while. Now what we have to turn our attention to is these little cross members that go from the corner of the door to the centre, and these are to stop the actual door from dropping so they're very easily done if I just turn it that way you just lay your piece of balsa from corner to corner then we just do a small mark there and there there and there and then we just cut them very very easily like that I've lost my mark, but I'm guesstimating it to be about there. And hopefully that should fit in. Uh, well, we could do a little bit of trimming. So we just trim a little bit off. That's a little bit better. So. And that angle's a little bit wrong, isn't it? Sorry about that. There we go. That should be a lot better. Yes, that's a lot better. So all we need to do now is do that one. We do this one and this one. Then get them glued into place. It's as easy as that. Now everything's dry. And... We're actually finished, well, actually finished making the doors. So we can just pull these off here. Now you can see the reason why for the uh, cling film is it allows you to get things off. So we've got our two doors. We'll dispose of, uh, well, not actually dispose of it, but we'll put that to one side. You can keep, the, keep it and make another set or do whatever you want. Now, we have our two doors. And what I'm going to do now is, before I go any further, I'm just going to give it a coat of wash. Now, the, this wash is 90% thinners, which I do use the Ultimate uh, Thinners because I find them better, with 10% paint, uh, black paint. Not a very strong mix, but it's strong enough to do what we need. Now... I'm going to give that a coat and we're going to leave that to, to dry. I will uh, paint both of them up, but I will come back in a little while and just show you that you can actually remove these dark patches. If they're too dark and they're too sort of uh, too much of a shape, we can actually remove them. But I shall come back in a second and just show you how to do that. Now, before they're totally dry, if you've got little areas like this that you want to sort of clean up, if you get a sharp knife now, that glue will actually come off. So you can sort of clean up and just sort of reshape any bits that you feel that uh, you don't like the look of, should I say. And you can do that all over. I'm quite happy with it. I, um, to me, that looks like it's been painted and there's tar. But that's the way you can do it. And it's very easy that, excuse the big hand, that they will cover, cover back over, even though it's been glued. 
you just drop a bit in and it will disappear. We're having a little bit of a hard job with that bit there though. I think that's a, a little bit of blue at some time it's got on there. And we'll dig it out. See if we can get that stain down. Yeah, we can. Yeah. So that's how you do that. Now I'm going to leave that to dry and I shall be back in a little while. Okay, we're back with a door uh, for the moment. Uh, it's dry. So what we need to do now is to actually get some posts on it. Now, if you're actually building the barn, you're going to need your posts about about 20 mil above the top of the actual door uh, because it actually fits underneath the soffit on the actual build if you want them for say for argument's sake uh, you don't want it for the barn and you want it to i don't know go into something else simply cutting them off level at the top and at the bottom and put another piece of timber on the top you'll create your actual door frame so but we're concentrating on just above. Now we've got our post and we need now to make this hinged. Uh, I'll bring the other one in now. Now I've hinged this one using a piece of uh, yogurt pot. Uh, very easily done and it works a treat. So the way we do it is we get some of the yogurt pot. This is the type. It's the plastic type which I find is quite good. We cut a strip off, which I have one here, in great Blue Peter fashion. Uh, and we're just going to glue, put a bit of super glue down this edge, which I shall do. So we just run some super glue down the edge, like so. And then we stick it straight on in the middle. Why not? Yogurt pots, I've got thousands of them. And we'll hold that down for a few seconds until it bites. And then I'm just going to leave that for a minute or so. I'm going to actually, I'm going to have a cup of tea and I'm going to come back and then we'll carry on. Right, tea break over. Now that's had a few minutes to dry. And we simply, if, if I can keep it in shot, we simply just trim up the ends, like so. Trim that end up. I'm being very extravagant with these yogurt pots as I have got a lot. And then we trim up this end. Just use the, the back of the door as your gauge to cut it off, which you didn't see. But believe me, it just ran along that edge quite nicely. Even this bit. Now, all I normally do, this is very difficult. I do it like that. I put my hand on the other side. Just run the back of the blade along that edge just to score it. And then fold it over. Like so. Make sure it's nice and creased then back on itself again uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to do it so it's in in shot back on itself again and then just cut along that edge and we have our little hinge now all we do now is we get our post put some super glue on there and we glue that onto the post uh, making sure it's in the right rotation yes that's in the right rotation so all I'm going to do now is put a little bit of super glue along that edge Making sure you got it in the right rotation, should I say? And very carefully just place that on that edge. And as you can see, you've got a nice little silver edge that runs all the way down there. That can be just done in a little bit of black paint, and that's it. And we've got the hinge. 
on the inside is just a matter of we'll touch that in with black paint so you can't see that but that then will make your hinge your door to open and close okay it won't it won't give you millions of openings but it will last a good time as long as you're sensible with it and not opening and closing it every 30 seconds so <coughs> that's the two doors done i've lost the other door now oh now it's crossing that's our two doors with the two, two posts done that one and that one we'll turn them over and they're both facing the right way if i turn it around that way but please check on that to make sure that your uh, supports are all facing upwards and not downwards because uh, that wouldn't be good. Now we move on to putting some uh, hardware on it, should I call it. Uh, we'll, we'll, just do, we'll just do one. We'll do this one. And I shall get some bits together and we'll move on and we'll make some little T-hinges. Right, now to making some hinges now i make my hinges using this stuff this is i think it's ever, evergreen uh styling now you get a pack of it there's about 10 lengths in a pack i think it's about four pound it's pennies and the size of this is two mil wide by 0 0.5 in thickness and it comes in extremely useful for a lot of things believe me it does now, what I'm going to do now is cut a piece of this at roughly about 25 mil, and a well, I shall explain 25 mil length that will do that piece, and a piece at about six mil to do the actual T hinge, which I've already got here, which I've already got cut. Try and save a little bit of time, which I'll be gluing one piece there, and one piece on the actual door frame like so and i should do three of them but i won't be doing three of them i'll just do the one and i'll get that glued in and then i'll be back to you right now once you've well once you've glued all three in uh it will be looking not the same as that but without the bolts and that's the next thing we go on to now the bolts are cheat I buy these these are by MIG and they're 1.4 millimeter uh, nuts and bolts you get the heads one side and you get the bolts the other and if I just move them up there and get a scalpel they're very very easy to remove if I can get that in shot just by using a flat scalpel, I'll go really that way. They just slide off like so. I should cut some off. Right, we've got a few there. And then we can go back uh, just to, to, to some ordinary Tamiya glue. Uh, I just pick three points. That one's there, one in the center there, and one at the end, that will do. And with a wax pencil, just drop them on, he says. There's one. There's two. And there's three. It's as simple as that. Hope I had that in shot. And then you put another two on that side. And you just continue down on all four your on all three of your T hinges. And that will be the front finished. Okay, we're over to the back now as the T hinges in the front have been finished. And it is very simple on the back as well. Pick your three points again. And with this time with a little bit of super glue, do your three points where your bolts are going to, bolt head's going to go. Then with your wax pencil, just drop them on. Just 
just like so. Nothing too, too major. And then just leave them to dry. Now, the next thing we're going to move on to is the little bolts. And, um, well, I'll put you on pause and we'll, we'll get, move on to the little bolts. Now, on to the little bolts. Now, you're going to need to actually add a little piece of wood, one piece here and one piece at the top. And I've already cut these bits. We have one bit to go at the bottom there. And we have another bit cut at an angle to go at the top. Now, these two bits are just to take the actual bolt. And that's what they used to do in the real barns. There were bits of wood just nailed on. So we're just going to stick them on. And a little bit of super glue. And we'll just stick them on. Like so. And one at the top. So, so we've got our two bits of wood, and if it is overhanging like that, don't panic about it because it is it's not worth just get the sanding stick and correct the mistake as easy as that. Right, we've got the two blocks of wood in now. We turn to our little bits of styrene again. The uh, one so it was 2 mil by 1.5, what we actually use for the hinges. And we just cut a small piece to fit on top of the block of wood. Simple as that. Now, I'm just going to glue that down. Just run a little bit of glue along there. Actually, I'll use my wax pencil for that. And then, well, see, you've got shaky hands, and that's gone to one side. Can we recover it? Just we recovered that bit. Now, the next bit is to actually make a little bolt. Now, what I'm actually using is a little bit of uh, 0 0.8 wire. Very, very simple. All we do is the pair of tweezers just do a bend like so and then we're just going to glue that onto there i've already got a couple made now i'm not going to glue these on camera because uh i just tried doing it and i ended up sticking myself to it so i'm just going to put you on pause i'm going to glue that and then i'll show you back now we've I've managed to glue that down without gluing myself to it as I did before and all we need to do now is just with a little bit of extra super glue is just go over the top of it so it just takes the rolls the edges off because when you come to paint that that will actually look like a piece of metal that's rolled over, over the actual bolt do exactly the same on the top paint and black and that is your little bolts for the inside now the final thing left is to actually make a set of handles and these handles are very very easy to make if we look at this one here as you can see i've just used a piece of uh, 08 wire and just bent it into a u very very simple and being balsa wood you can virtually just push it through so i've already got one bend there on that piece uh, i shall just do another bend like so and make myself up a little handle nothing too mad and all you need to do is put your two doors together like so then just make a mark one side and just transfer the mark over and literally just drill two small holes push it through and put a blob of super glue on the back 
where it comes through snip it off with your snips when you've got it set at the, the right depth and that is your little handle made no big mysteries about it at all so that is it hopefully uh, you understood everything that uh, I've done there's the two completed doors with the hinges on and if we turn them over with the uh, bolt, bolts on the back the little hinges I haven't painted them yet but I shall get round to doing them I actually did do them all on the actual build they're all done and complete so that's it uh, that's how I do the little barn doors I hope it's been of some use to you and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one so thank you very much and bye Thank you.